Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and I am back with another coloring technique using a paper napkin. I shared a video yesterday experimenting and testing out different color mediums on paper napkins and I'm just in that coloring on paper napkin spirit using this very beautiful paper napkin. Isn't this gorgeous? I will have a listing for this paper napkin in a bundle in my Etsy shop that will debut sooner than soon. <laughs> but in this video, we are going to, well, I don't really know what I have in mind. I do know I want to color this girl using pan pastels. I featured this in my video yesterday and I absolutely love how the napkins take pan pastels but I'm thinking about altering this girl as well so let's get started I haven't a clue how it's gonna look I'm just gonna play around I love the whole concept of coloring on paper napkins because you can find paper napkins in hundreds of different designs designs that you necessarily can't find in scrapbooking paper okay so I mean she's gorgeous as is right but we're gonna play around what I love about paper napkins a lot of the times you can get four of the same prints on one napkin sometimes it's two of the same print but you get a lot of value for your money okay so let's color this girl right I love working with the black and white napkins because you have room to add color so I'm gonna color her you know I'm gonna give her a brown face I'm just gonna play around and have fun and see what I come up with you don't need that much of your pastel by the way this collection is by fun stampers journey I am a coach. If you're interested, you can check out my link below. You could also email me at biblescraps at yahoo.com if you should have any questions. The pan pastels, if you don't know what they are, well, they've been around for a long time. And artists use these, like people who paint and draw. I have seen videos where a portrait was made using pan pastels. You get a lot. It's like like foundation powder. You use something that looks like a makeup sponge and you simply just press it in. You don't have to pick up a whole lot because you may not know how much is on your sponge. You could take a, a paper towel or a napkin and dab a little bit off. You see how deep, deep that is? and then add it to your paper napkin if you need more you can just pick up more I'm just gonna have fun I'm gonna see how this looks with some color once again I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> absolutely have no idea just gonna test this out now as fragile and delicate as paper napkins is it's quite strong if you saw my video yesterday once again tested out different mediums and I didn't have any tearing at all on my paper napkin so mm, that looks kinda blotchy let's see if I can make it more smooth I don't know I can make her face a little bit darker but I love how the pastels just glide glide on the napkin but I think I want to add some color to her hair let's see what color hair do we want to give her she has highlights you know what I'm just now noticing this girl is different from this one Wow are these two the same oh these girls might be different how cool is that all right okay let's add 
some color to her hair. I don't know what I'm doing. What color? You know, let's make her hair bronze. Now what I can do, I can continue to use the sponge or use one of these applicators here that I absolutely love. I will have these linked below. If you want to add just a little bit of color, you want to highlight areas, this brush is great. And then it glides nicely on the paper napkin. So let's give her some bronze highlights. Once again, I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I don't know how to color. I have a motto for myself. Don't think. Create. Okay, I don't know if I like this brown, though. Hmm. Let's see if... Well, let's move to the next girl. How about that? I do like how the bronze looks in her hair, though, but I don't like that finish of brown. Let's try a different color. What other color? For the sake of trying, let's try black. Just plan around. Plan around. You see one side is darker than the other. I should have wiped some of it off. So that gives it like a black and white. The napkin was already black and white. But adding the black pastel gives it a black and white look. Okay, um, let's see here. What can I do next? So what I did to her was I added a little bit of bronze to her face. And that's good as it going to get as far as smoothness. So um, my other favorite item to use are the illustrated or the Bible journaling the crayons yeah I used these in my video yesterday too and I love it I don't know what I'm doing I'm altering her I'm using the gray crayon I don't know why I felt the need to not just color, but to alter. <laughs> when I first started crafting in 2004, it was really, oh, that's kind of pretty. If you see it from the right angle, it was really popular to make those art dolls and to make those, I'm not sure what the art was called, but you guys who were crafting back in the day, we would take images and add wings to them. Yeah, that look. I don't want to necessarily make her look like that. I just feel like altering her. Alrighty, I do have a white crayon. You know, let's add some white pastel first. You can reuse your sponge if you wipe it on a paper towel. So let's just, let's add some white to her hair. If I don't like it, I can rub some of it off. I probably shouldn't have added the white pastel. But I'm gonna take the white crayon and color it in. I know I'm messing her up, you guys, right? taking away all her beauty <laughs> but you know what she don't look bad yeah she don't look bad let's move oops my fingernail went inside my pastel okay let's move to her let's just add some white crayon it's really a grayish color no I guess it's white no it has some gray in it I'm adding the white where the highlights are in her hair. And I think I like how this gray looks. It 
adds almost some shimmer. I feel like I want to give her some earrings. I thought about lipstick, but I don't like the idea of little girls with lipstick. So I'm not going to do lipstick. I don't want her to look too, a, too much like an adult. Because she's a pretty little girl. Okay, so let me show you what I did to alter these very pretty, very pretty girls. So once again, I wanted the girls to look like girls, so I did not add any makeup. I didn't accentuate the lips. Nothing like that. Um, I did add little earrings. These are little gems I picked up at Joann's some time ago. And then these are little sequins little flower sequins and then of course you see the bow this one has a button and this one has a little a little gem there and that's pretty much it outside of the coloring yeah very simple to make I like how it turned out and I used pop dots to adhere the bows down and also well, I used glaze for the earrings. And aren't these darling? <laughs> so I didn't do anything to these two girls. I'll leave them as is. But these are fun to color and fun to alter. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, why not support it? Give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe and share because well, I have a lot coming your way. Feel free to adopt the idea. I only ask for proper credits. Do give shout outs and do link back to this video. And once again, I will have these napkins along with dozens of others in my Etsy shop that will debut real soon. So be sure to subscribe. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.